we are, we are, we are in part two of we reign as kings. We reign as kings. And I said, when you know your position and the name you carry, a president, when Uru speaks, does not speak as himself. The authority is conferred by the constitution. And us, authority is conferred by the word of God. And you are not called kings by a man. It is the word of God which has declared us kings. Hallelujah. And we carry a name of Christ Jesus. The name above every name. The Bible says, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Tell your neighbor, that's the name I carry. Hallelujah. Things should start bowing to you. At the name of Jesus, demons should start bowing down. Demons. Hallelujah. Amen. You cannot be dominated by the devil and sickness and sickness. But if you don't know your position, Satan will always try to dominate people. He will try to steal from you, to bring you down, to make you discouraged, until you forget who you are. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. There are some people who live with this scripture. They live with this scripture. Better, better what? A living dog than a dead lion. It's better a living dog than a dead lion. But the question is, why should the lion die? Are you getting me? The lion of the tribe of Judah lives in you. Why should we go back? Hallelujah. Amen. Why should we become a dog? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. You must live a lion. He was born of the flesh, is fresh. If you are born of the spirit, you are a spirit. If you are born of God, you are a son of God. Are you getting me somebody? The Bible used to call Gentiles dogs. The unbelievers were dogs. That's what that's what, what they were called. When I was an unbeliever, then I can say I bet it was better a living dog. But I died and was raised up a lion. <laughs> I refuse to be a, a dog. I am a living lion. I am not a dead dog. I'm not a dead lion. Hallelujah. Let's go to First Peter 2 so that you understand where I'm coming from. Pastor, today you look different. You speak different. Okay. I want you to rise up in this life. You cannot live an oppressed life. If Jesus came and was oppressed on your behalf, you should not live an oppressed life. You should live a life of reigning. Because Jesus is reigning through the body, which is you. First Peter 2 9. But you are a chosen generation, a loyal priesthood, and holy nation, God's own people. Aha. Tell your neighbor, aha. So, where come Shanga Wapo? Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, have you heard who I am? Can you repeat to your neighbor? Their neighbor, I am a chosen generation. I'm a royal priesthood. Royal priest means I'm a king and a priest. A holy nation. 
and God's own people that you should show praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. In Colossians 1, Jesus Christ delivered him from power of darkness, from the authority of Satan, and put you to the authority of God. Tell him, I am an authority, I'm under authority, not of the devil, not of the world. I am under authority of Christ, of God. If I ask, tell your neighbor, if I am under authority, I can exercise authority. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you are under authority, the children of the world, they exercise authority that they have. Are you together, somebody? And the children of the devil also are exercising the authority. Like now you're heading to elections. You see a scaffold of men going to witches and sorcerers and all that. But I want to tell them if they want the real power it is in Christ. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because you are far above that authority of the devil. I thank God I'm not a politician. I'm an ambassador of the highest kingdom of the earth. Hallelujah. We were not a people, but now we are people. And not only become a people of God, we'll be made kings and priests. A royal priesthood. Don't judge me by how I wear. Hallelujah. I'm a king from the inside. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, don't look at how I'm wearing today. I am a king. Hallelujah. Praise God. Jesus is the prince of the kings of the earth. And as men as kings and priests, he is our prince as kings. Hallelujah. Peter calls him in Acts 4. Peter calls him in Acts 4 the prince of life. Hallelujah. There's something here I want you to, te to teach you very clearly. And it's a very important one. I want you to be very attentive. Hallelujah. About the prince and the kings. Are you getting me somebody? Tell your neighbor, be attentive now. More than before. I know you're attentive. I want to teach you about the prince. In the spiritual world, we have princes who are heads of natural kings on the earth. The kings of the earth, they, they rule depending on the princes in the spiritual world. That are backing them. Are you getting me somewhere? Hallelujah. Let me begin with Revelation 1 5. Jesus is our prince. And we are kings on earth. And we rule by the authority he gives us. Are you together, somebody? Now let's look at it. Revelation 1 5. Hallelujah. Or let me begin by talking about princes. I don't have time, I'll go to the book of Daniel. But all of us know Daniel prayed 21 days. And on the 21st day, an angel came and told him, Daniel, God had your prayers from the first day. But I know I was coming to bring your answer. I was resistant by the prince of Persia. From uh, for all those days, the angel bringing the answer to Daniel could not come to Daniel. 
Because there's another authority, power. There was a power that was trying to, to hinder this, this uh, uh, angel. And this angel says, Prince of Pasha. And after bringing the answer to uh, Daniel, he said that Prince Michael is the one who came and fought this power. And I was able to pass through. Are you understanding what I'm talking about? Hallelujah. This is an answer to Daniel, but it's hindered by the power of darkness being called the Prince of Persia. Michael, the Prince Michael had to come and fight this Prince. Prince Michael was sent of God and was able to make way for this angel to come. Amen. But now this angel says again, I must go back to fight the prince and I have to fight the prince of Gracia. Then you need to understand at that time of Daniel there was the king of Persia. Somebody are you hearing me? From the back are you hearing me? Hallelujah. There was a king of Persia, but he was getting his pass through from the prince of Persia. Are you getting me? He was ruling, but he was depending on the prince of Persia. There are some people, kings on the earth, who are ruling using powers of darkness. Hallelujah. And that's you find some of them accepting to put roles which are very bad. Hallelujah. Which are abominations. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And the angel is saying, I have to go and fight the prince of, he said, and the prince of, sorry, the angel is saying, and the prince of Gracia is coming. Amen. And you'll find there was a king also that was coming to reign. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The king of Greece. King of Greece. What am I trying to say? Let's go to Revelation 1 5. Hallelujah. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead? Are you seeing that? Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the first begotten of the dead, is the prince of the kings of the earth. Hallelujah. He is the prince of the kings. We are the kings. He is our prince. And if Christ is your prince, you cannot fail to reign. Did you hear me, somebody? Hallelujah. If Jesus Christ is your prince, you cannot fail to reign. Hallelujah. Jesus is the prince of the kings of the earth. We are Christ. And Christ has made us kings. In the spiritual world, we are under the authority of Christ. He is the prince of the kings of the earth. That is the believers. That is us whom God has made kings. It is me and you. Hallelujah. If you cannot understand that, you cannot reign. Because you will not be able to understand the source of your authority. Today, people are hearing a few specific people. And then I say, I say, I have healed them. Hallelujah. I have healed them. And the people start praising them. 
Don't praise me when you see the dead rise up. Don't praise me when you see you've been seeing the sick get healed. Don't praise me. Praise the prince. Praise Christ. I can do nothing on my own. Hallelujah. The authority you have is of Christ. Without him, I can do nothing. Without him, I cannot heal anybody. Don't be right on I can say, you know, because I'm a man of faith. Yes, faith is there. But it's Christ's power. Today. You know, I was reading something that surprised me. I was reading in John 14 and John 15. And in John 15, Jesus said that when the Comforter will come, whom I send from the Father, Hallelujah, he shall teach you all things. But then he says, that Comforter will not speak of himself. He will not speak on his own. He will speak about me. He will bring that which is mine to you. Are you getting me? Hallelujah. And he will glorify me. I want to say categorically here. Any spirit that's that, that, that does not glorify Jesus is not of God. You hear me, somebody? Hallelujah. Many people are running here and there because there's miracles, there's anointing. Let me tell you, if that spirit does not glorify Jesus Christ, whether it is God is mentioned in those meetings or not, that is not the spirit of God. Hallelujah. Jesus said very clearly, test the spirit. The spirit of God has come to glorify Jesus. And not to glorify me as Kama. I use his name. His authority. Hallelujah. Revelation 1 6. Glory to God. Revelation 1 6. I want you to read for yourself. Read around. Let us all read Revelation 1 6. Do you have your Bibles today? Hallelujah. Amen. Open your Bible. And read Revelation 1 6 with me. And the Bible says, And has made us kings and priests. Not that he will make us. Hallelujah. He says, He has made us. He has made us kings and priests unto God. And his father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. When I say I'm a king, I am. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, I am a king. Can you read it to him again? Read to your neighbor now. And put yourself there. And say, and has made me a king and a priest unto God and his father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Wow, I'm a king. Hallelujah. So how do we reign as kings and priests? Hallelujah. I'll just say a few words then I'll, and then I'll be able to continue on how you reign as kings and priests. How do we reign as kings and priests? I'll talk more about kings. We bear Christ's authority. Delegated authority. Through his name and by faith in his name we rule. We do wonders. Matthew 28 verse 18. Jesus came and spoke to them saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. And verse 28, verse 19, sorry, verse 19. Hallelujah. 
Jesus is the one who was speaking to his disciples after his election. He is raised from the dead. So what happens? He tells them all authority in heaven and earth is given to me. What does you do you learn from there? All the authority over everything in heaven and earth is with Christ. Hallelujah. That's the Christ who is, we are saying, he is in you. That authority he has given to you. And he says, go you therefore and teach all nations. Go you with that authority. Go and reign. Go and bring the kingdom of God to the world. Hallelujah. And in, if you read Mark 16, 17, he says, Go and heal the sick. Cast out devils. Raise the dead. Do miracles. And he says, Even if you take poison, it cannot kill you. Oh, but there's a power that worketh in me. Romans 8 11 says, Is that power that raised up Jesus Christ from the dead? Hallelujah. If that spirit who raised him from the dead, if he lives in you, he makes alive your mortal body. Even sicknesses do not work on your body. Hallelujah. They have no right. Tell your neighbor, you have no right to be sick. Tell your neighbor, refuse to be sick. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There is a law of the spirit of life that has set you from the from the law of the spirit of sin and death. Let's go again. So, so he told them, in, in Acts 1, he told them, wait in Jerusalem, wait in Jerusalem, and you receive the promise of the Father. Today we need to teach people about the Holy Ghost more than before. Hallelujah. And being filled with the Holy Spirit. Acts 1 verse 4. He says, wait in Jerusalem. The way you are right now, I am resurrected. I'm going to the Father. But you need to wait. Hallelujah. Because the way you are, you cannot reign. You need the Spirit of God to come in you. How did he make them kings and priests? He gave them his spirit. Hallelujah. He gave them the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Verse 8 of Acts 1. He says, But you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Tell your neighbor there is power. Apart from authority, authority is exousia, authority. It's power which is authority. But then you have another power called dunamis. The working of miracles. Hallelujah. The authority is to rule. Dunamis is to enforce. It has the power to enforce. Hallelujah. Can you imagine if you are a, you are a, 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 you are a policeman? I said the other day I saw a woman policeman. Very slender. Hallelujah. But she is wearing the kofia, the, the crown. And she would stop big traders. And big men would come out. Shaking. For this small woman, what is working? Authority. When you walk with authority, even big demons, they will tremble when they see you speak. Hallelujah. Are you getting me somebody? Glory to God. But what if now this person got and get this woman? This woman is backed by the whole government of Kenya. 
by the commissioner of police. Have you ever seen somebody touch a policeman? What happens to that person? Some of them may not live to tell the story. That's how you are. They cannot touch you. You are backed by authority from heaven. And then you are given dunamis. The power. Hallelujah. To bring down forces of darkness. Are you together somewhere? Hallelujah. To do miracles. Am I helping somebody? Hallelujah. There are many Christians who have been crying. They are just, oh Father, they are just crying. And, and God is not coming. Because whatever they are crying about, God has given them power to deal with it. Hallelujah. He's, every day is crying. Oppressed. Hallelujah. But God is saying, rise up. Do something about it. Hallelujah. He's saying, oh, Father, come. God, come. But God is saying, rise up and do something about it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Have you ever seen somebody, a dog is barking on somebody? Is running. The man is running. The person is running. Because of this dog, which is barking, coming. And then you tell him, Ah, those, that dog just barks. You tell him, just stand and take a, snow, a stone. Pretend you are taking a stone. So this person was afraid of a dog. When he was told that way, he turned now and, and, and pretended he's speaking a stone. The dog that was chasing him turned and ran away. Are you getting me? Because this person has gotten knowledge. He has power over this dog. But there before he was running. Some Christians are learning being chased by demons. Where they are supposed to have to turn and tell you devil out of the way. And the, the demons will run away. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. You know, if you read the Bible, you know, it's interesting. God just says one word. He says, Cast out devils. Then he says, Submit to God, resist the devil, and he'll free from you. When the devil comes to you, you want to know, do you know yourself? Do you know what you carry? If you don't know, they'll oppress you. Hallelujah. It's like a policeman. If I see you are carrying a gun, and you don't know how to use it. <laughs> you cannot use the gun. But if they know you carry a gun you can use. Can I pray around with you? <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. I'll be talking about two main ways <laughs> that we can reign. <laughs> I'll be talking about two main ways we can reign. Or two main ways that we reign as kings. Hallelujah. Or how we reign as kings in two ways. But for now, I want to reach there. In the next session, I'll teach you about the two ways. And when you get this, I'm telling you there are some things you, you, you have to disappear from your life. There are some demons you have to leave you. There are some things in your life that will start working they were not working before. You've been praying about them, but God has given you power to change them. Hallelujah. You will stop crying about them. You will take action. And things will change. God bless you. See you in the next session. Hallelujah. Make sure you watch it. 
Make sure you are available. Viewers, the one who are watching me through the media. Make sure you listen to the next one also. Because you understand how you can reign in life as a king. God bless you so much. And keep you. Shalom. Amen. Amen.